jalapeno. I've written Ball Don't Lie, which came out in 2005. I have Mexican White Boy, We Were Here, and then my newest book is called I Will Save You. Awesome. So, Matt, what are your favorite words? This is a very tough one. Um, I'd say some of my favorite words. I love the word grace. Not in a religious sense, but I just love moments of grace. And I just love the way that word sounds, grace. And then in terms of words, like, it's crazy. I, I love slang, and so I love words that aren't in the dictionary, necessarily. Um, and I love playing with words. Um, I'd say the biggest part of my job is revising, so I probably use a hundred different words in, in sentences just to try them, and if they don't work, I go to the next one. But I turn over words. I think writer's job is basically to turn words over, turn them over, turn them over until you find that thing that fits the best. And for me, I'm like really big into rhythm. So the rhythm of words in a sentence. So I, I'm a sucker for alliteration. But um, I just love the, the sounds you can make, the music you can make with words. Awesome. So is that why people need to keep learning words? Absolutely. You have to know as many as you possibly can in order to know which ones fit where. Cool, so who are some of your favorite authors? Well, my favorite author in the world is Cormac McCarthy, and if you read his language, it's just incredible. I actually carry a book with, one of his books with me every time I write, it's called Sutri, and it's like this fat, and there's no plot, but the language is so amazing that, I mean, that book just blows me away. Awesome. So I have this bonus question I ask everyone. Okay. Answer whatever way you want. How do you define someone with an erudite lexicon? I would say it's somebody who, who actually can, can go to the exact meaning uh, of what they're looking for. Like they can find the word that fits exactly. Most of us, myself included, we just find we're looking for words that are approximately right or generally right. And somebody who's erudite, they get the actual exact word.